everything I do really is a hobby. I'm not making a living, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, you know, I write. Uh, uh, nobody's paying me to write. I do stand-up comedy. Nobody's paying me to do stand-up comedy. I'm here at this show. No, nobody's paying like, me to that's do this the show. There's been a hobby and a profession. James. My whole life is a, is, is, is a hobby. I, as a matter of fact, I'm going on Kickstarter. Planning to live in Los Angeles for another six months. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to my ass off. The, the, I would like to keep my apartment <laughs> fundraiser. <laughs> going into production yeah. the rest of my life. Yeah. Help uh, me help me avoid full time work. <laughs> no, you know, I've, I've never been a big hobbyist, you know. Uh, I, no, you are a hobbyist. Well, I, Your life is a hobby. It is a hobby, but, you know, interestingly, I, I wasn't in the Co Cub Scouts very long. But the one badge I got, I got a hobby badge, but it was very annoying because, uh, you know, I, I had a hobby. I, you know, I was going to be a cartoonist when I was a kid. Uh -huh. And, uh, uh, and I, I, I used to collect a lot of Peanuts books. And so that was my hobby, right? And uh, so you had, to, you had to get your parents to sign You couldn't out. have Spidey-Man 1 or whatever, huh? Well, you know, I, I did collect those kind of comics, too. More Superman, Batman, and uh, the Marvel genre. But that's a whole other story. <laughs> those were my favorites, too. And that one you to But uh, uh, it was very annoying because, uh, you know, uh, I had to get the parents' signature. And uh, uh, my father wanted me to lay it out and make a big display of my hobby. And it was like, I didn't want to be in the Cub Scouts in the first place. <laughs> and uh, I was actually, I was being bribed to be in the Cub Scouts. Because, you know, the losers were in the Cub Scouts. Let's face it. These are the people. These are the people. These are like, nine-year-olds who don't know what to do with their exactly. weekend. Well, they're being <laughs> I got a merit badge for you. They're being put in order. Here's a badge. pedophile bait. Here's a badge for cleaning your room. Well, thanks for that badge. I'd rather have a dirty room. Keep your fucking badge. <laughs> You're not fooling me. <laughs> You're not fooling me. You others, you go march into order. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm over here, and so my give my merit badge to the maid. So my father was like, "I want you to set it up. I want you." To be. I was like, "I'm really not that yeah. interested in this badge." <laughs> and uh, I mean, he was just trying to get rid of me. He was watching a football game. Go ahead, go do, you know. And and so, uh, you know, but but I guess that's it. I mean, my, yeah. but I, I don't, I don't consciously say this is my hobby. This is I'm going to do something. Yeah. But. Uh, it is my life. My life is my hobby because nobody's paying me. Well, how about how about um, your wax breasts of all the starlets? Well, yeah. <laughs> that's not so much a hobby. It's just an excuse to uh, make the cast. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, I have a collection of wax breasts. You'll, you'll, yeah. you know, uh, you, you'll uh, be in great company. Mariel Hemingway. And, and this is before the implants. <laughs> yeah. This is before the implants. Pre oh, and this that is after. disqualifies them. You're, much, yeah. Yeah. You're, You're not a purist. You're it's not, not even a natural. Well, yeah. I remember her before uh, the movie. What was the perfect fit? I remember. I remember the exact movie she perfect fit not a great movie <laughs> and uh, a great fit <laughs> <laughs> what what made you pick movies to collect well the business i'm in the business i yeah. mean it's I, I do it as a student i mean i watch it as uh you know being a projectionist uh, is not really being in the well, no but i mean i write i write screenplays i write teleplays you know nothing sold not nothing so nothing that he's even handed around well i just get annoyed <laughs> i just get or annoyed. put on blog no, i'll, I'll yeah. send it out i'll send it you know here's a here's a perfect example one guy i pitched the story to one guy he goes i want a 17 page step by step uh, uh plot point by plot point uh synopsis i said you're not gonna get it goes, <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> I said the yeah. script is 110 pages. Can you read? Yeah. You know, if I wanted to write a synopsis, asshole, I'd write a synopsis. <laughs> Put cliff notes on a business, asshole. I got 110 uh, pages here. You yeah. can't read 110 no, I want pages. To say, I want it's to read. double space. Condense it. Condense it. Put it on Twitter. <laughs> double space. I tweet. Just, tweet. Just tweet it to me. I'll figure you know, it out. I mean, yeah, maybe maybe my life wouldn't be a hobby if I had the you know the patience to. Patience. Uh, to yeah. deal with, you know. He hates people with money who could purchase things. They're just <laughs> annoying. They're annoying people in this town. They're annoying. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to represent you. Well, you can't represent yourself. Look yeah. at you. Look at you. I, I, I had one agent. I had one agent. He said, you know, I, I, I he's, he's like this fat. He's like, he's like 300 pounds. He's got stains on his shirt. 
And he's and telling you how to run your fucking yeah. life. Oh, he's saying, well, yeah, he's saying, yeah. he's saying, I booked this pasta for a saying, week, didn't I? <laughs> he's saying to me, uh, you're not getting called in. And he goes, you know, I'm sending you out as a leading man. You're not a leading man. And he, he's got this picture of a guy on his desk. He's bald. He's got a beak nose. He's got pregnant skin. He goes, that, that's your category. <laughs> no, really. Huh? And he goes, and he, and he goes, and he goes. Uh, well, uh, what do you look like with your shirt off? And he, he's got a lift. Ooh. This guy, he's very gay. He's very gay. But he, what do I look like with my shirt off? I'm looking at him with his shirt on. He's got stains, and he's got 300 pounds. Yeah. You don't look good with your shirt on. You're not going to get to. You what know. do you look like with your balls kicked in, buddy? <laughs> yeah. So I, I just don't have a very good, you know, relationship with Hollywood. And I've told you this story before. I was in the the improv friend of mine was on the tonight show this is the end of the johnny carson era she's sitting there with her agent and her manager and she introduces me and i shake their hands and the manager no the agent goes that's a weak shake you want to try again so i grabbed him by the throat and i shook him <laughs> <laughs> i said how's that <laughs> he said you're never gonna work in this town again i said i haven't worked so far <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't. I you know maybe that's why I'm a hobbyist. Say so you're Jack Nicholson before uh, before just, the break. You kind of I'm, you, know, you know. I just you wanna, have to become an asshole I after want, you get the big break. I just want toast. That's all I want. <laughs> dry toast. I want dry toast. There you go. And if you don't have dry toast, can I get a chicken sandwich? Can I just get a chicken sandwich? <laughs>